good day once again my name is graphics today we want to draw the interpenetrating arc of this two pipe three pipe merging together we have the middle pipe the pipe coming from the right and the pipe coming from the left this is the elevation and this is the plan so we want to draw the arc that connects these pipes together so the first thing you draw you start drawing from the plan like i said earlier so what I will do is, I am going to draw my horizontal line this way, right? Now, after you've done that, you take your C square, you make it to form a cross like this, right? So this is the center at which I'm going to draw my circle. If you look at this, it says that the diameter of this circle is 50 millimeter. So I'll take my compass and I am going to measure 50 millimeter. Half of it will be what 25 to draw my circle. So place it here. And I'm going to draw my circle and I'll thicken it this way. So, the next thing I'll do, now I want to know these two pipes, their diameter. Through the elevation, I'm going to know what the diameter is. And it is what? 40. So I'm going to measure 20. That is half of 40. From 0 to 2 is 20. And I'll place it at this point at the center. I'll mark up and I'll mark down. Now, I'm being told that the distance from here, from this point, the center to this point is what? 40, just like you can see here, that is 40. So what I'll do is, from the center here, I'm going to measure 40. The 0 to 4 is 40. And I'll do the same thing here to I'll measure 40. Because it's a symmetrical object. Now at that point I measure 40, I am going to draw a vertical line this way, up, and I will come here also, I will draw another vertical line this way, up, that is my faint line, right? So now, at this point I mark in here that like you can see, at this point, that I mark here, I will take my T square to that point, and I'll draw a line from the circumference of the circle to touch that line. I'll do the same thing here too, to touch this line. I'll move up to the next point, which is this. I'll draw my line to touch here. And I'll draw my line to touch here. I won't let it pass through the circle. Now I'm going to close it up. I'm closing it up. I'll close it up. And I'm going to close here up too. Close this plan up too. Now, if you look at, I have successfully drawn the plan. Now, my next target will be the elevation. So, the distance between the elevation and the plan can be any distance of your choice. So, I will take my elevation to be somewhere around here. I'll use faint line to just put it that way. Right? And I'm going to the height of it from the base here to this point here is what is 90. So measure 90 from this point here is 0. And I'm going to measure 90 from 0. And this will be 90 here. Right? So I'm going to be having my 90 at this point here. So now what I will do is I'll take it down a little bit so I can easily locate my 90 which is this point here and uh, I'm going to cover it up I'll cover it up to just form a box cover it up to form a box so after doing that now I'm going to project all these points. I've already projected this already, so it's 
to be the circumference of the circle the edge there i'll project it up so from here i'll take this up to touch it up right and from here too i'll take this up to touch it up now if you notice half of 90 is 45 so what I'll just do is I'll just thicken this point first because the thickness of this circle, this is this circle here, which is this point here. So I need to get this base here. So I'll thicken here from here to here. I'll close it up and also at this point too. I'll close here up to to this point. As you can see. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to now I'm going to take the half of this 90 which is 45 so starting from 0 here starting from 0 I'm going to measure 45 which is the half of that the center line 45 and um, I'll just draw my center line there, which is this. Now, the next thing I'll do is this thickness here is what is 40. So I want to do that here. So I'll take my compass with it because it's the same thing with the plan here. This is 40, this is 20. I'll come here, I'm going to mark 20 up. 20 down and the same thing here too 20 up 20 down which will make my 40 here right so i am going to draw my line to touch the body of the cylinder i'll draw my line to touch the body of the cylinder and i'm going to close it up i'll close it up I'm closing it up. I have this. I'll close it up here also. I'll have this. I'll close here up too. I'll have this. I'll close here up too. I'll have this. I'll do the same thing here too. Okay, here too. I'll have this. I'll do here too. I'll have this. Now I have successfully drawn these shapes out, which is this. Now the next thing for me to do is to draw my inter penetrating hack here. So I want to see the hack that is joining both of them together. So what I'll do here after bringing down my shape is that in front of each of these lines i'll draw a straight line like this faint line and i'll come here also i'm going to draw a straight line too so what i'll do here is this i'll take the radius of this which is 20 i'll draw a semicircle this way i'll come here also i'm going to draw a semicircle this way right now with the radius of my compass i'll place it at this point i'll strike up strike down this is at this midpoint here i'll strike up here and i'll come here also and i'm going to strike this point too right and i'll do the same thing here too left I'll come here too and mark here and I'll come here too and mark up and down so I'm going to use my um, set square for my ruler to join these points together so to join this point together so, 
I'm going to do this. And I'll join this. And I'll join this. And I'll join this. So I'll do the same thing for the one up to for the center. I'll join this. Come here to I'll join this. Come here to I'll join this. Come here to and join this. Right? So now I'm going to call here three Call your two, call your one, call your zero, one, two, three. So call your zero, one, two, three, two, one, zero. So what I will just do is I'm going to project all my points to this side. Because it's a um, symmetrical object. So from one, I'll project it to touch the circumference. I'll come here also. I'll project to the third circumference. I'll come here also. I'm going to project it to the third circumference. Come here to the circumference. And also, now this particular one here, I'll come to one. I'll bring it out. Right, I'll come to the other one, I'll bring it out. I can also even draw it to touch the other aspect too because it is a magical object. So I'll draw another semicircle there, but it will be faint line. Come here too, I'll do the same thing. I'll come here too, I'll do the same thing, and also this point will do the same thing. So now, what I'm going to do here. Is this where my circle touch the circumference of the circle? Where it touches the circumference of the circle, I'm going to start drawing now. This line here is touching the circumference of the circle here. This and this. So I'm going to project it from here. This is zero and zero. This is where zero and zero is. So they are all coming together. I'll take it up. So where zero meets zero is here. Because this is zero meeting zero. So I'll call it my point zero. Right? I'll go to the next one, which is one and one. This is a line of one coming like this. This is one. So one will meet one. I'll project it up. This is one here. And this is another one here. So I have point one here. And I also have point one here. I'll go to two. I'll do the same thing too. I'll take it up. Where two we go and meet two. Here. So this is two meeting two here. And this is two meeting two here. So this is point two. Also, point two. So we have two, two coming up. I also have zero. Here's the line of zero coming up. So zero is, I mean, the line of three coming up. Three meeting three here, and also three meeting three here. So I'll do my first curve. And I'm going to join these three things together. Oh. So I'm going to join these three points together. So from here, I'll have this. I use my French curve to join these three points together like this. This one will come this way. And this one too will come this way too. So we have then this. So this is one of the arc here. 
then I'll do the same thing for that part too. So instead of me just, I just come here. So you do the same thing for this edge too. Now, I'll take my compass. I'll come here also. I'll draw my semicircle, which will be this. Right. I'm going to divide it as much as up. Come here also down here. Right. And this point here too. And this point here too. To here. So I place it here too. It's like you already did the other aspect of cut up. I cut that. I'm going to draw my point to touch the center of the semicircle. So I'll do this from here to here. I'll do this from here to here. I'm going to do this from here to here. I'll do this from here to here. So this will still be my zero one. Two, three, two, one, zero. So what I'll do is I'll just project my point to touch the circumference of the circle, which is this one here to touch here. I'll go to the next one too. From here, touch the circumference of the circle. This one too. From here. This one too. This one too. This one too. From here, this one too. This one So after doing that, I'm going to project this point up. So if I project the last one, which is three, this is this is zero, right? So the zero is going to meet zero here. Zero is coming up. Coming to meet zero at the center, which is this and zero. Next one is one, this is one and one. So the two points where one meets the circumference, which is here, I'll project it up. So one meets one here, and also one meets one here. So this is one also, and this is also one. This is also one here, these two points here. Now the next one will be two. I'll go for two. This is point two, and this is also point two. So zero one two, zero one two, and two. Then the last point there is just three, which is this. It is already there. Three and three, three three. So I'm going to use my French curve, and I'm going to join them like this. I'll join them with my French curve. I'm going to join them my French curve like that. So this is what we are asked to draw. This is the inter penetrating arc that we just concluded, and this is how you draw the three pipe merging together: pipe A, pipe B, pipe C. So thanks for watching. If you know you've benefited from this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button bye